If you're a beginner to macrame or if you wanna move from beginner to advanced, these are the three books I would highly recommend for your tips and tricks, your knots, beautiful patterns. I still refer to them today. I'm going to explain what I love about each book and then I'm gonna let you know at the end which book I was going to buy if I was just going to buy one. I'm Claudia here at Interwoven Studio and I'm here to teach you how to macrame. I give you patterns, I give you tips and tricks and today this tutorial about books. The first book I'm gonna tell you about is Macrame by Fanny Zedenius. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but that's my best jab at it. This is an absolutely beautiful book. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna put links to all the books in the description below in case you wanna check them out. What I love about this book is that it's just beautifully laid out. She has everything you need to know in there to get you started on your macrame journey and then absolutely beautiful projects. She covers the basics, which she calls macrame secrets, and it lists all the tools and materials you'll need to start your projects. She goes over 34 different knots, as well as how much cord you need for each knot. That is worth its weight in gold because that is the most common question in macrame. How much cord do I need? How much cord do I need? How do I calculate my cord? I will be coming out with a tutorial for this really soon on an example of a dream catcher. Then the projects she includes are plant hangers, wall hangers, and then various other projects like this beautiful placemat. Her patterns have really clear instructions and I have no doubt that you're gonna love this book. The second book I recommend is this one called The Macrame Pattern Book. I'm not gonna lie, this is not the most aesthetically pleasing book, but it is very functional. What I love about this book is right in the title. It is great for patterns. Here are just a few of the patterns you'll find in this book. Flowers and leaves, Diagonal clove hitch patterns, there's many, many, many of them. This is just one page of them. And then these ones, which they call the fruit and nut patterns. Every pattern comes with pictures and instructions. And I've found if I can't follow the instructions, then I just go to YouTube and I find it there. It also has 22 senate patterns, like these spiral knot patterns, always including images and instructions. And if it interests you, there's the history of macrame in there, and then all of the typical basics of macrame, and at the end, they show you different projects. So really, this is the book you go to to discover new patterns and implement them into your projects. Third book I recommend is Macrame 2 by Fanny Zanetius. Yes, same author as the first book, and this is her follow-up book. An awesome resource in this book is she goes into a really in-depth description on how to calculate cord lengths. So like I said before, this is one of the most common questions in macrame is how do I calculate my lengths? And I would say this is the most in-depth description I've found on how to do this. In this book, she goes over even more knots as well as the basics. So if you want the basics and more advanced knots, this might be the book for you. So she goes over more knots and she gets into ornamental knots. She goes into another section, which she's calling knotted details, which are more intricate patterns. She then goes over some weaving techniques so you can add some macro weave to your projects. She really is a gem. And then another really fun thing she does is a section on botanical dyeing. So if you're interested in dyeing some of your natural cord using avocado or beets, this is your resource to find out how to do that. And like the other book, she has a whole bunch of really fun projects. I've made a couple like this plant hanger, it's a double plant hanger, and this beautiful wall hanging. She then gets into some more advanced projects like this floor pillow or this beautiful wedding backdrop. So in the beginning of this video, I said I would tell you which book I would buy if I was only gonna buy one book and potentially it might be my first book. It would definitely be Macrame by Fanny Zanetius. It's just beautiful. She really covers all the basics in just such an easy to digest way. So many beautiful projects. I just, yeah, highly recommend this book. It's been fun being here with you today and I hope you've gotten value and I hope to see you here again soon. I love getting comments and feedback. So if you have anything you'd like to let me know or maybe a video you'd like me to do, please let me know in the comments below.